why do I need to take my baby to, for a visit to the dentist at two teeth? Now I know in your program, and it's, it's very cleverly phrased here, two by four, so it's two four times here, right? And early prevention dental health program, so two teeth is one of those times. Yes. Why do you say that's an important time for people, for mommies to take their children to, uh, to the dentist? Uh, so those two first teeth are there. Uh, and now it's, it's, uh, we need to learn how to take care of them. Uh, and uh, because uh, taking uh, care of two teeth is much easier than taking care of 20 teeth, that's the time where we should start learning. And prevention is all about uh, learning to do something before to prevent the problem, right? So we, we don't want to uh, buy a car and then get our license. We want to get the license first, know how to drive the car, and then we buy the car. So same thing. We want to know how to take care of two teeth first before all the 20 teeth come out. Uh, and it's much easier. And same thing, we, we are teaching the child that something uh, will be done to clean their teeth every night and we'll be consistent about it. And once uh, as all the other teeth erupt, it becomes a, um, a good pattern, a good behavior. And uh, it, it's so, so much more fluid because uh, the problem that we find is that the first appointment is, is a major appointment, such as uh, removing a loose tooth or... Uh, so many parents wait too long, don't they? And it's not their fault because yeah. no, nobody, nobody ever told, told them. them. And that's, that's the purpose of this program, that we are trying to um, intercept all these uh, programs, uh, all these problems as early as possible, right? Uh, and uh, that uh, two-teeth appointment is important because uh, it's something that's different. So there were no teeth and now there's two teeth. So uh, we want to make sure that uh, uh, mommy and, and uh, the parents know how to take care of those two teeth very well. And then when the other 20 come out, then we're ready to go. So baby's used to it, mommy and daddy are used to it. Uh, and it, it's just so, so much more smooth. And, uh, and at this experience. point, mommy can show you what she's been doing to clean the teeth yeah. for you yes. to either praise her or yes. help her learn a little bit yes. a better way. Yes. And, and the nice thing about going to an appointment at this point is, this is not the time that a child goes and gets hurt. There's not a cavity yes. where there has to be a yes. drill going on. Starts to like the dentist, wants to go to the yes. dentist, wants to take care of the teeth properly, and it's a big help that way too, isn't it? Yes. Uh, at this stage, they may not really be aware too much of the dentist, and that's why it's also a good appointment for mommy. So that's where we can give all, all that information and. Uh, so mommy can really, because it's, it's also about the diet, uh, of the child's diet and uh, uh, what, to, what to avoid as well, right? And uh, how, how to brush and what to avoid uh, to, to um, make sure the baby is, is healthy. So two teeth, that's yes. an important time. Yes. And so Dr. Julie, one of the things I really love about your program is that you really are not only building good habits, but you're also building a relationship that's based on positive rather than scary things or hurtful things and uh, hadn't really thought of uh, through that way but as I'm hearing this it really strikes me how important that is. And then I'm hearing two teeth but I, I'm just kind of curious I mean those first teeth when they erupt is it usually two or do, is it common to have one tooth or three teeth all at once? I mean it's two. Um, the off wall you may see one first but usually they come in pretty there. quick. Yeah, yeah. Pretty okay. Quick. Uh, mostly the bottom ones, they will be the first one to come in and sometimes maybe one, sometimes maybe two. Um, but usually, you know, it's to give the, the mom or the parents a chance to um, show them in person because it's one thing to say, do this and do that. Right, to read it on the, a label in, or on in a In reality or... is that if, you know, let's say the, the, the child is not behaving or is not allowing or they actually have to try to do it mm -hmm. um, to be comfortable as well. Um, because a lot of parents may be reluctant to putting something in, a, in the, the baby's mouth. We'll see if they haven't started wiping the gums. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just for them to have a feel and sure. to be comfortable with that. And that's the best way to, to show them. Um, it's much easier to um, try to do that on a six, seven months baby as opposed to when they, they're much older and they're going to fight back and the arms and the legs are going to start swinging. Clear, <laughs> clearly much easier and more positive an experience yes. than when they're coming in to for the first time dealing with a problem yes. instead yes. of and, you know, prevention. You know, when the, the first two teeth have just erupted, there's no problems yet, there's right. no cavities yet. So 
you know, this is why it's so important to set it early on. Has anyone managed to do that, get a cavity in their first two teeth before they, <laughs> before um, any other teeth? Somebody it, tried really hard to eat nothing but sugar? Could, could it be done? Um, <laughs> we, not likely. We wouldn't, if, if, we wouldn't encourage yes, the competition. Would, you know, no, <laughs> definitely not. Um, but, you know, bring them in. The minute you start to see the two teeth that, that have come in, bring them in. So mm -hmm. we, we catch that. They're still healthy. And uh, we, we can avoid so much problem. And also, um, you know, remind the parents about... Um, certain type of diet, certain food that may make the, the child be more prone to decay. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it's a good opportunity to review that with the parents as well.